When we began to unravel the archival collection in possession of Patti family in Bhavnagar, we were curious about the stories and narratives it held. More papers we went through, the longer our list of questions became. Every time I traveled from Ahmedabad to Bhavnagar to go through the archival papers, I would share the content with my family and they would help me complete the stories. When we embarked upon building the archives, our consulting archivist Ishita Shah introduced us to the formal process of gathering oral histories. There was a dire need to connect the dots and also the urgency to collect the stories from the family. And hence, in October 2021, we instituted the oral history exercise to document the family history. So oral storytelling is a technique which your interviewee might use if they have the knack for it. Right. So if they if they have always been telling stories for years about Sir Patni or about Patni family, they will have that sense of performance. They will have that sense of uh, gripping you into the story. But that's not necessarily all that oral history is supposed to achieve. Oral history wants to achieve more than that in terms of looking for things which they have not usually trained themselves to think about. So that is where the research aspect sort of comes in. So these two differentiations are very important that what we are looking at is a methodology of research. One other, both of the others are something more rooted in the community at, as its practice or as its recreation. as a research assistant, cataloging archival material and reading papers gave me an opportunity to understand Sapatni's legacy and his pivotal role in nation building as well as building Bhavnagar. The oral history project gave me an opportunity to connect these papers with the stories. I first came across uh, Patni archives in an online international conference on uh, business history, being uh, particularly interested in uh, family archives and regional histories, I read up about Sir Prabhashankar Patni and his family on the archives website. I was quite fascinated uh, with his contributions uh, towards the uh, erstwhile state of uh, Bhavnagar and the country on the whole. Hence, I was keen to work with them. When I was in this project, I had an oral history of Prabhashankar Patni and Karya Vishy. But I was a theater artist मैंने हिस्ट्री में कंटेट में रस हो मैं यूं थत कि हूँ जैसे इंटरव्यू लेवा जाइ ने तरह मैंने नवी नवी बातों नवी वार्ताओं बहु बधु जा The exercise began with rigorous workshops spread across four weeks. We started with an introduction to Sir Patni and his family and cross-learning about oral history methodologies. Then we went on to understanding the techniques of recording and editing audios, including trials of the recordings. Along the way, we developed structured questionnaires, set guidelines for transcription, organizing documents and appropriate nomenclatures for easy identification and retrieval in the future. Through the entire workshop, we worked across languages, English, Gujarati, and Hindi. The most challenging part of this project uh, for me has been uh, the editing of audio files. I was quite overwhelmed uh, when we were introduced to the concept of audio editing. I thought it was beyond me. Uh, but as soon as I started uh, playing around with and you know, experimenting with uh, the various components of the software, 
uh, I realized it was quite fun. हाँ ये ये इमेज से क्लियर होगा देखिए अभी जब ये वेव होता है तो वेव ये वेव की फ्रीक्वेंसी सबसे बड़ी होती है पर दैट डजेंट मीन के वो रियल में ऐसा साउंड होता है उसके साथ ये सारी फ्रीक्वेंसी भी होती है राइट तो, तो आ, निकालोगे तो ये सब डैमेज हाँ है। आपको लग रहा है कि आपको ट्वेंटी मतलब ये वाला जो पार्ट है वो डैमेज कर रहा है आप ये फ्रीक्वेंसी निकाल रहे हो पर दैट डजेंट मीन के ये सारी हार्मोनिक्स भी निकल रही है उसकी hmm. आप पर ये सबसे ज्यादा डैमेज कर रहा है तो आप इसको हटा सकते हैं फर्स्ट इंटरव्यू वन ऑफ द चैलेंजेस स्ट्रक्चरिंग क्वेश्चन इन वर नैक्यूलर ट्रांसपोर्टिंग बैक टू स्कूल विद सोहम वन ऑफ द थिंग्स दैट आई लर्न वॉज how to use formal gujarati while framing the questions and understanding its grammar and phonetics for the transcript ena upar tamne ahiya english to gujarati gujarati to gujarati to english e to badi dictionary ho chhe pan gujarati to gujarati mali jase barabar se amuk word chhe hu ek word tamne nahi dekha atyare hu ema thi upadu chhu jeni mune jodni ma doubt chhe ट्रांसक्रिप्ट कारण के शू थे बोलाये एक एक शब्द एक एक सेंटेन्स लगता मैंने बहुत वार थी और पी ए सेंटेन्स में शब्दों की जोड़नी साची हे कि खोटी एनु मीनिंग शू हे आ बधु मैं बहुत शोधवा जव पड़त एट्ले तकलीफ मैंने ट्रांसक्रिप्ट में बहुत पड़ी एट दी एंड ऑफ फोर मंथ्स वी हेव डॉक्यूमेंटेड ओरल हिस्ट्रीज ऑफ सेवन मेम्बर्स four great grandchildren and two great grand nephews of sir patni and a son of secretary from the former patni office it has been a challenging and cumbersome production there has been immense learning and each one of us is in awe of the number and type of stories gathered we can now connect several narratives with the archival papers and vice versa the oral historians have some fascinating stories and experiences to share It has been quite a learning experience uh, working with Patni Archives, meeting new people and listening to their narratives. Uh, it is a sort of time travel, I would say. I experienced a range of emotions while uh, interviewing as well as while transcribing. Uh, for example, one of the uh, interviewees uh, got quite emotional uh, when uh, he was narrating an episode related to Sir Prabhashankar Patni. a person whom he has never met uh, surprisingly i too became emotional when transcribing that part of the interview uh you know somewhere i feel there is that emotional connect and in that sense their journey becomes part of your journey too there was a case regarding bhavnagar uh port where they were putting extra duties or something like that and since the british government was there and they were controlling most of these ports and all that bhavnagar filed an appeal in the supreme court of britain which was known as privy council but when mr patni went to britain Along with Mahatma Gandhi, he met the Home Minister Lord Morley and explained his case. And he said that I think this is an injustice to Bangladesh. 
and that gentleman was very just and uh, you can say law abiding so he went to privy council and he explained that it will be improper if we don't correct this situation and they agreed and he came back and say to sir patni sir patni congratulations you have won the case so sir patni says no sir it is sense of justice and part of british crown that is what things not be sense of justice on the part of british crown that is one thing આખા પ્રોજેક્ટમાં મારા માટે એક વાત બહુ જ યુનિક રહી એટલે કેવું થાય કે એક ઇન્ટરવ્યુમાં રહી ગયેલી વાતો બીજા ઇન્ટરવ્યુમાં પૂરી થાય જેવી રીતે ભારતીબેને જૂના બંગલા વિશે બહુ જ બધી વાતો જણાવી કે ક્યાં કઈ વસ્તુ છે અને કલ્પનાબેને એ જ બધી વસ્તુઓ બંગલાની ડિઝાઇન એમને ડ્રો કરીને સમજાવી કે આ વસ્તુ અહીંયા આવેલી છે એટલે એક વસ્તુ જે અધૂરી રહી જતી હોય એ બીજા ઇન્ટરવ્યુમાં પૂરી થવા માંડે એક ઝંકુબાઈ કરીને મોટી ઉંમરના બેન બેન હતા એને ખીજવામાં સિગાય કે જમકુબાઈના મોઢામાં લસણ ગંધાય છે લસણ ગંધાય મને બહુ સુખ થાય એટલે એટલે જમકુબાઈ કે ઓહો હો મધુબેન તમે તો ભારે છો એમ કે ફૂલ ગાર્ડન સર્કલ અહીંયા આખો હોશ અહીંયા ફરતા ટ્રીસ then this is come as a porch i am the pella barabar ane adi ne javi ja we have built capacities amongst ourselves over the last 4 months a trained oral historian is now familiar with nuances of using a recording device as well as audio editing a theater professional is now an oral historian and has mastered gujarati transcription a literature graduate with 6 months of being ra at our archives has now learned conducting oral histories we are taking baby steps to preserve regional histories and are excited to document much more